What's up, people? I am back today. Uh, we did the Canelo Valley Cars and Coffee this morning, and right now we are in the, at the Camarillo Airport for Wings over Camarillo. As you can see, some planes in the background. Look way back here. There's some big ass planes going on right there. Helicopters, all kinds of cool stuff. But they have a car show right up here. Lots of cool cars, and we're going to start off with uh, something that's uh, pretty familiar. Uh, not that one, although that may be familiar. That one right there, Dukes of Hazard. Uh, we're going to take you guys, give you guys a full tour of the show, show you pretty much every car that we can, and walk through Wings over Camarillo. And it's always a good show. There's just lots and lots of stuff to see. Uh, we're not going to be able to get over to the planes also because it's massive. It would take me about 15 minutes to walk to the other side. We got a little bit of a uh, of uh, wind going on, so forgive me if uh, the sound gets a little blown out from time to time. Kristen, what's going on? Uh, we are at Wings Over Camarillo in, uh, oh, Camarillo, Camarillo Airport. Yeah, Bo, what's going on? Let's take a look at uh, what we have at this show, whole car show going on here. We're gonna start with, yeah, Dukes of Hazard. There's the cop car, you guys know this, Hazard County. This is my buddy Dave's car. Uh, this one has the horn in it. If he was around, I'd have him honk it for you. And right next to him is Herbie. Herbie's got a few modifications, as you can see. <laughs> got a few star cars here. So there's Herbie. James's uh, Porsche. Lots of neat stuff. And some normal things. Uh, I would say there's probably about half a dozen to maybe eight cars that really stand out, that are really unique. Uh, so we'll spend a little extra time on those cars. Yep. Thanks, Kristen. I appreciate that. Hope you have a great day also. It's Saturday in Southern California. It's hell. It's absolute hell. The weather's perfect. There's people walking around in scantily clad outfits. Plus gentlemen like this, right there. I pointed the camera the wrong direction, whoops. Anyway, lots of military people walking around. So there's a lot of planes and, and uh, helicopters. Neat stuff to see, lots of Camaros. This is just the first row, and there's about uh, six rows that we'll go over. And we'll stop and look at some unique things. Here's something kind of interesting. So this is a Clinet, pretty rare every now and then. Uh, my friend, uh, uh, Mark Sternberger, Clinet was his uh, partner. back in the day. Unusual car. Good stuff, yeah. That's a great color, man. Thank you. That is awesome. I believe that you could paint anything turquoise and make it cooler. Yeah, you know? that's true. It's awesome. Uh, you see the Studebaker station wagon down here? That's oh, the I same haven't gotten to that yet. So I'll, I'll get to that. Yeah, you know you have so much sleeping in your car, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sleep right there. Kids. <laughs> kids. Can't get away with the kids. Yep. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. What are you drinking there? If you're having fun, that's a Sierra. All right. One of the rotary. Breakfast beers. of champions. There you go. <laughs> It's five o'clock somewhere. Yep. Wow. No, this, this is all for interface. I wouldn't hike this crap in. Done this car. You guys have seen the episode we did with that one. There's kind of a classic Jag. You don't see these that often. We have a 1960 in the uh, museum. This one's a bit older. This looks like maybe 53, 54, something like that. Tommy. Howdy. What year is this car? Uh, say, uh, 1986. Yeah, not even close. Yeah. <laughs> say, 49. 49? Okay. No. I believe you, but my Tommy gun don't. No, no, yeah. no. It's... Is there a license plate? Let's see what the license plate says. I'm going to go with, uh, 
This is 60. 60, that's what I was going to say. We have a 60 in the museum. It doesn't look anything like this. Well, that's because it's a different color. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say 59 or 60. The same color. <laughs> yeah, we're so fucked up. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Two old guys looking at cars. Yeah. Okay. Um, while Tommy uh, contemplates his own uh, immoral behavior, there's Spencer. Wearing his uh, glass. Like you're taking mine out. And throwing yeah, them away. I throw them to the wind. You, you know what? You're so fast. Shazam. So fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, the flash! It's the so flash! Sorry. Where is the station Sam? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Boy, I'm just ruining it. Oh, he's, that's, that's two bad ones. All right, we're going down the second row here. Guys, once again, another turquoise car. These are, uh, I show these because Kathy likes seeing these from time to time. Sorry if we got a little bit of wind going on. I don't have a wind sock on my mic today. These have to suffer a little bit. Some nice stuff. If you haven't been to this show, this is Wings Over Camarillo. Come here? At the Camarillo Airport, there's something interesting. No, yeah, I on this side. What's wrong with this? A lot going on in this point, too. So that's where all the, ca the coffee cans went to. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Bad smells going on in there. It wouldn't be complete without that. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep going. You never know. This show will probably bring in about. Uh, Five thousand people, maybe a bit more. This is a beauty right here. I'm not exactly sure what this is. This is definitely a show for you because there's tons of flying vehicular contraptions. Uh, some of you may know that my uncle, uh, his name was Mike Carroll, he was a, a pylon racer back in the 60s at the Reno Air Races. And he had a Hawker Sea Fury that he used to fly, it had a big Rolls Royce motor in it. And they would go in between the pylons, which were pretty scary. You had to have balls of steel to do something like that. Uh, Ed Wiener was the guy that always, uh, he, uh, that Mike seemed to be chasing, but he was really good. But unfortunately, uh, Mike bought a, a P-38 and uh, modified it for racing, and then he took it up on the maiden voyage and uh, went into a spiral, and he lost his life, unfortunately. And that happened a year after I was born. So I didn't get a chance to really know too much, but I always admired his lust for speed. He's a challenger group. Lots of demons. A couple of chargers mixed in there. We got some classics on the end. It's like the second, it's like the third row. Even older. There's a lot of power in these. All told, there's probably about 10,000 horsepower. Probably more. Here's something fun. We saw this at the Mattel show. This uh, bug coming up here. 
I didn't get too close on it, so uh, here's a little bit more. What's up? Hey, I get to a fireball. No offense, I just, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, too. All How's right. everything? Good, good, good. We're shooting a live, so say hi. Oh, hi. Hey, how are you everyone doing? Yeah. I'll come around and I'll talk to you about this Sounds thing. Sounds good. It's like a little monster. Looks like you can make more money out of it. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. There's a little something right there. My other one. Cops don't care. Southern California, this is the kind of car that you need. Roxanne. Got a rifle on the outside. I'd be concerned that someone might take that. Ah, some extra tools. And ultimately, the tool everybody needs on their car. Take care of business. There you go. for you. Just, you just check it out. Uh, Kristen, this show is happening uh, today and tomorrow. So you can come up on uh, Sunday. Have a good time. Also, our show at the museum is happening. Uh, Murphy Auto Museum in the morning. Just uh, cars and coffee. So for those of you that want more cars, you can go there and come to this show. They're literally about uh, five, six minutes away from each other. Look at this purple. sort of way, I guess you could say. Fully restored, look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at those wings. The car's a beast. It is. Very nice. So I encourage you guys to get out this weekend. CDC has lifted the protocols for COVID. There's a lot of people having a good time. There are no masks anywhere that I can see. People are enjoying themselves. But I always believe strongly, you want to prevent COVID, you want to prevent the flu, you want to prevent any sickness, stay healthy. It's not a, uh, not a difficult thing. But if you eat shit all the time, take care of yourself, you allow stress to uh, enter into your lives, then you're uh, you're asking for trouble. So keep yourself healthy, go to a car show, check out the cool rides like that one, and spend, uh, spend some time with friends. Okay, digging it. Pretty sure you guys have seen this before. That's a fun hot rod. more row after this one so uh, keep the ball rolling Some nice stuff and be sure you know during the week if you haven't visited uh, on my Facebook page I do a show called Art Talk Live come and visit us in the morning 8 a.m. Break cars as much as we can. Most of the time it's die cast because 
I can't fit these cars in my office where I shoot from. So I'll still be working on that though. Lots of good cars at this show, damn. Look at this Ed so I'm not sure what year this is, but uh, I think this is maybe a 53 or so. Yeah, oh, I see. Come from see what you're telling is me. this your car? Yes, this Dude, is my car. How are you? Hey, very good to see <laughs> Sorry you. Sorry to interrupt. Yes. You were telling me about that you had this other, other one, and this is it. This is it, the other one. You're the only guy in all of Southern California that's got two Edsels. Well, I don't know. I think there's some well, there's guy another in another guy. Club. We got another guy in a 58 yeah. Club. Yeah. yeah. All right. John. Well, then you need three. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Good to see you. I've got more. All right, guys. That's what the show is with regard to the cars. Lots of new stuff. Lots of planes. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, hanging out with us. You got someone that uh, is in your family that's in the military. Our uh, good thoughts go out to them. And thank them on our behalf for their service as well as uh, the continuation of risking things for the betterment of all including all of us at this show. So have a spectacular rest of your Saturday. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Muscles and Mojo. Adios.